the only way to have a level playing field at the highest level of play is to have is 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 to not have voice chat to not have people give up their linguistic profiles i mean and maybe you maybe you think you know if if you are a competitive gamer which a lot of people have been like stuff you're not a, you don't you clearly know nothing about competitive play well competition by the way y'all competition requires you to get every advantage possible to become one the top 0.01% in any video game you have to you have to get squeeze every amount of, of advantage you can possibly get voice chat is unfair period <laughs> i said a lot of people with cis white male sounding voices are here telling me that voice chat isn't a problem and that is a fact y'all have voices that aren't marginalized coming in and saying just mute it's not an issue everyone faces harassment i've heard it all you're you're just repeating my several like a year ago i've i've been through this all This just added more fuel to the flames and more and more people were coming in to share their opinions on all of this stuff. So instead of just showing you clip by clip, here's a short compilation of how Steph dealt with these people. Well, stay mad. Stay mad, haters. I'm right. I'm right. Gosh. Gosh, I'm getting brigaded from two sides right now. There's one side that's about this voice chat stuff. There's another side that's like, I'm too weird and, and sensitive. All right. Well... Um, this is gonna be, I'm saying goodbye now. Goodbye. Mm. Let's take a nice deep breath. It'll cost you $5 to talk now. Beer, you, $50, yay. Getting paid for dealing with the brigade. Getting, well, no, I just, I'm just not cool with white supremacy, y'all. It's really not that, I think a lot of you gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry, just a fact of how I feel. It doesn't, it doesn't really make sense to me, you know what I mean? It isn't like the council, like... The council's supposed to like work together to think of like really cool things and, and represent the streamer and you know and, and like and, and let them know how we're feeling you know and stuff like that and it's it's like that doesn't feel like this. But I'm hanging in there I'm anywhere. Okay. I have power. I have power. What's that? What is that? What does that mean? I have power. They can't take it away from me. Okay. And honestly. Uh oh. Ah. Doesn't that sound scary to you? No? Like, I feel like that's not why the council was formed. <laughs> you know? I maybe, I maybe I'm wrong, but that doesn't sound right to me. Clip. But I'm hanging in there, and uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me, um, and that they are, because I, I represent uh, moderation and diversity, and I'm gonna come for hurtful, harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm gonna stand up against you. Period. And uh, I'm Twitch is endorsing me to do that. So yeah, I'm on this like safety advisory council for Twitch. I literally have zero power right now. I have no idea how much power I have. And at the moment, it's zero. I might have more later, but like right now, all I can tell is I'm supposed to say uh, what things I think are maybe bad ideas, and then Twitch will like maybe act on them. I'm not Twitch staff. Absolutely f Twitch. Twitch, no one's scared of you, you stupid bitch. F this whole platform, dude. I'm so over this platform. If they continue to endorse her after this, it's so embarrassing. This dude, I'm so pissed.
pissed off. Are you kidding me? She gets to sit here and preach and be hateful and That's be true. ignorant towards white people, to towards cis people. F this person. I'm so over this person. She's so unbelievable. What a st what a just. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I need to just like take five. Oh my god, I would just. What a. Bitch. Oh my god. Why would Twitch allow this, dude? This is so shameful. Holy sh bro. What the f Oh, it's so bad, dude. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, bro. She, she's like, you're gonna be afraid. No one's afraid of you. We're pissed off that Twitch would allow something so embarrassing. Twitch Ambassador, second place finisher in Twitch Rivals, Apex Legends, TwitchCon 2019. Here to tell you that mandatory voice chat in competitive games gives marginalized communities a distinct disadvantage by forcing them to choose between silence or abuse. Wait, who is this? Whatever, who cares? Uh, members of marginalized communities are abused and harassed in gaming. If your response to this is to get mad at me saying it, you're the problem. This may be true, but you're taking the option to choose to talk to people away from others instead of taking that options away from everyone, even good people. They made a mute option. Nobody wants to take away your voice chat, you f illiterate f <laughs> Hold on, it gets worse. Also, I take offense to you saying some people like me aren't marginalized enough to have an opinion on this, even though I'm dyslexic, just because I don't agree with you. Take your dyslexic ass the f out of my mentions. I'm right. Yo. You know that feeling when you just want to punch one in the face? This is her enemy? I, I can't stand this. She can sit there and trash talk this way. If we say another word back, we're banned, we're cancelled. She's... <sighs> I'm not going to give it a... This is, prov this is provoking Thank a Twitch. The three. Welcome, they should Albert, to the Champions this Club. Albert, get in, be... settle in. Fit in. Grip she, in. In my part, who should win. be unpartnered and kicked out of the team for saying this. That, that's my opinion of the case. Just because she's throwing shit at other groups, it doesn't matter if they're marginalized or not. Everyone, in my opinion, should be held to the same standards. The same standards overall. Because you're afraid of getting banned. It, it's ridiculous. A and at the same time, this person can say, negative things about white people and it's fine if i said that about black people or about trans people i would be banned i would be gone off the platform but they do it and it's completely okay and twitch accepts it it's the emperor's new clothes and everybody is afraid to say what's fucking obvious that's all there is to it it's wrong if you had replaced that, what what she said, with any other group of people, if me, XQC, Soda, Summit, Lyric, any other streamer had said that, we would have been off the platform in a fucking second. Oh, jeez. Am I wrong?